Hi there everybody and welcome to another video where I will investigate another trading idea. This time I got the idea to test out trading based on the fear and greed index. So let's find out what I mean by that after the intro. I'm currently working hard on another side project for my audience that I will keep secret for now, but during the preparations for that project I got a trading idea that looked very interesting to me to build on further. So in this video I will present you the findings of that experiment. The premise of this trading idea is that the Crypto Fear and Greed Index can be an indicator that can supply you with signals for entering and exiting the market. For those of you who still don't know what the Fear and Greed Index is, it is a lagging indicator that somewhat measures the temperature of the markets. It's made of several other parameters like volatility, volume, social media analysis, trend information and other data. And you can find this indicator on this page. Now the whole idea of my trading strategy is based on this fear and greed index. And because of the lag in this indicator, it's probably mostly fit for higher timeframes and trend trading. The index is low when markets are very bearish and contain a lot of fear. But the indicator can also measure high values when the markets are parabolic and bullish and everybody gets greedy. So in other words, the indicator shifts between fear and greed. So a week or two ago, I thought to myself, why can I not use the fear and greed index to determine my investment or trading decisions? And this is exactly what I want to present in this video. A test to find out if this could be a good indicator for trading, or at least it could be some sort of a baseline that you can combine with other entry and exit signals. So I started up my Jupyter Notebook and my trusty programming companion ChatGPT, and I started to code to see if I could make something that I could use with the automatic backtesting engine. This way I can use my testing dataset and can also compare the results with all the other trading algorithms I already have tested. You have to have some sort of a baseline to compare the results with, is my modest opinion. I deliberately kept the strategy super simple here, and that would at least give me some information that I'm onto something special here. Now you can always build further on this uh, basic algorithm and try to squeeze the maximum out of the backtest data, but then you will introduce curve fitting bias and that might lead to disappointing future results when you're actually trading. So for this strategy the rules are as follows. The skill of the fear and greed index goes from 0 to 100. So to enter the market, the fear and greed index should at least be 50 or above. Or in other words, the markets should at least be above the neutral boundary. And to determine if the index is going upwards or downwards, I will make use of a 100 period simple moving average over the same fear and greed index. Now 100 is arbitrarily chosen, I have, could have chosen 50 or 200 or hyper optimized the best setting, but this is a nice simple number and a baseline for further development, no special meanings. Anyway, if the index is above this moving average, it is upward moving, and if it's below this moving average, it's going down. And thus, for the second signal, the fear and greed index should be above its 100 period moving average. There are also some exit signals. And the main exit signal is when the fear and greed index is below its 100 period moving average. And this way I know that the index is going lower. But other exit signals are the stop loss, which is set to sell at 25% loss, giving the trade enough breathing room, I hope. And the other exit signal I have is to exit the market when I have 1000% profit. Mostly to disable the ROI setting in the backtesting engine, but it could well be that the coins have a 1000% gain which flows directly into my trading account at that moment. Now I will spare you with the complete process of uh, the code writing, but I will only show you the most important parts of the code that I used for testing. The information for the fear and greed index does not come from the candlestick information I usually use with these backtests, but instead I have to download this data from the alternative.me site API. And the function that downloads the data then also has to process the data so that it matches uh, with that of the data frame that's used in the backtesting engine. When the actual indicators are called, the fear and greed function is used to get the data and merge it into the data frame that is used to determine the trading signals. And once everything is added nicely to the data frame, the actual entry and exit signals are configured in the populate entry and exit trend. So you see, it's a super easy trading strategy. And in other words, an interesting experiment with absolutely no guarantees, but lots of fun to make. 
Let's start the real test to see if I'm onto something and see the results later. As I expected, the daily time frame seems to have the best cards in hand. With a win percentage of 2440, it looks like we have a reasonable foundation in hand to build on further. The win percentage of trades is slightly below 50% and with a maximum drawdown of around 22%, the losses are still manageable. Now the sharp ratio however is on the low side and only 33% of the pairs seem to like this way of trading, which is also not too optimistic. The pairs that have profits under my specific circumstances are the following. And I assume that the reason why there are so much pairs that did not even open a trade is because my settings only allow 10 open positions at the same time. So after the signal that the fear and greed index is above 50 and it's moving average, then all positions will be opened immediately, because I do not use the individual data of pairs in this algorithm, and that might have a negative aspect on the current setup. But more refinement can be added by adding extra signals that look into each individual pair data. So a second thing that I did is to configure my trading bot to open a position for each pair, and this way the trading strategy opens a position for every pair configured, and therefore are no missed opportunities if other pairs might perform better. I just hypothetically trade them all if I get a fear and greed signal. So in this case I have to configure the bot setting to allow a maximum of 50 open trades at the same time, and I also gave it 10 times more funds so that there was money to trade with. Now, please do not look at the end balance here because I have completely deviated from my standard way of testing and take this as input for further investigation and no advice whatsoever. But you see, this is more of an indication of the workings of this baseline indicator for starting to trade on. Anyway, considering that this is more of a tryout instead of a serious backtest that you are used from me, I will now only show you briefly the plots with comparisons against the best scoring trading strategies during my final thoughts. Let's wrap this video up with my cautious conclusion that the fear and greed index could be a good baseline indicator on which you can build the rest of your trading strategy further on. It looks to be a tool that can help you determine if the markets are ready to step in for longer term investment or for spot trading for long positions. And you can also do the reverse for when you want to trade on fear and go short when the index indicates this. But in my position I didn't test it out because I am limited in the possibilities due to my country's regulations. However, you are always welcome to test this out and add your findings to the comment section below. Now, as I said in the beginning of this video, this was more of a rough uh, trading idea that I wanted to show you, and since this indicator is not bound to a certain pair, it's probably also a good idea to add some other indicators or rules to the strategy. For example, you can add the EMA50 and open trades when the price is above this line, or add the RSI indicator and add some market strength to the equation where you only trade when it's above 50 or 55. The possibilities are limitless here and it's only your own imagination that holds you back developing a good trading or investment strategy. Or you can just YOLO in all your favorite coins at the moment the indicator flips to greed. It's all up to you. But in any case, just remember to do your own research, backtest and forward test for enough time before starting to do actual trading this strategy. For now, I think I have enough information about this idea and I will quickly go further with my other project. Everybody thanks for watching, clicking the like, subscribe and using the buy bit link if you want to start trading on that platform. And as always, the complete package with the test results, strategy code and more is available for my patrons on Patreon. See you in the next video. Goodbye.